All right, and hey there, Frost Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of The Link Between Worlds Let's Play. And if you guys did miss out during the last one, we went and rescued out with another Portra Sage, which that was going to be with Irene. So now we do have now the talking broomstick finally back and working once more, uh, which is going to be kind of funny to kind of hear uh, Irene's dialogue here and there sometimes. Uh, but for right now, we're going to go and start making our way back towards where the Skull Woods is going to be. And uh, if you guys don't know uh, too much about the Skull Woods here on Link Between Worlds, I believe there is somebody that is out out here that you can go and try to purchase an item from and uh it has to be like around like 888 rupees now we do have enough uh four hour time for that and i don't think i'm going to really go and worry about doing an upgrade just yet uh or we'll not do a permanent upgrade uh just yet uh for one of our items so that uh, if we ever do get ourselves with the game over with uh well Anyways, I, I know that uh, for right now, everything has been uh, kind of fine uh, for the time being. We haven't really got ourselves into like an actual full-on game over just yet because we've kind of been using the uh, the save states for like a little while. So again, we don't really need to go and worry about uh, doing anything with Ravio too much around out here. But let's go and return back over through this way though, however, and just watch out for the different mobs that kind of show up around out here. Now again, these guys do take a lot of hits, so... Oh my goodness. Just make sure that you have any type of beam damage and you can get them out of here pretty quickly out here, uh, for, for like the time being. Okay, so where we have to go from this way in the Skull Woods is that we just need to just keep on hanging straight up for a little bit. Watch out for like the Ganies and whatnot. There is a distortion spot right there, so that will take you right back to the Lost Woods. A anytime that you see any of these little like bridge type of area things out here with like, well, for what it kind of looks like to be like a, like a skeleton somewhat, those should probably take you into the, well, I want to say into the right destination, I think, for most of the different dungeon spots that happen around out here. So we'll get to go and see that there is a portrait stage for us, uh, which that is the beginning of the portrait stages that we went and saw at the very beginning when I think uh, Yuga went and uh, did, uh, did some crazy stuff that was going on at the very beginning. Now, I believe we can go and talk to this guy here. Uh, we can go and give him some of our money and we'll see what could go on from this. So let me guess, you came here for looking for some extreme fun in the great outdoors, huh? Well, yeah, I've been running and crazy in these woods, uh, running until I got dizzy, trunky, I call it. I trunked and trunked around these trees until I finally lost my way. But I found a great treasure in the woods, and maybe you'd like to go and take it off my hands. Hmm, so a great treasure, huh? So hopefully it's going to be uh, maybe a heart piece. Let's go and see what we got. And it's a golden bee. It shines bright and beautiful. It's still bee, so be careful. Really? You just go and buy an unknown thing from a blindly trust stranger like that? Yeah, man, you know, I, I I wanted to go and put all my money towards to where you, man. <laughs> Not going back to rav you for any type of permanent upgrades. But yeah, what the heck am I going to do with a shining bee? Well, we'll have to go and figure that out for a little bit later throughout our time out here within this game. But for right now, uh, just make sure that you kind of just check around throughout this area for the time being. Because uh, you don't want to forget about any type of lost my mice that are going to be happening. And there's also another lost my mice somewhere around out here as well, too. And I think we just kind of probably uh, missed a round out here. But kind of check around anything that has to deal with any type of like bushes around out here. And also just like that, you can go find another my my just right in that area. So it seems like for right now, there's nothing really too much going on throughout this part. So we'll have to go and head through another area spot, which uh, I believe we just have to go through another section, which I believe that was probably in the middle, right? Because it's not going to be right here. Yeah, it'll have to be right up in this area. And this is where you do need to go and uh, use your handy dandy titan mitts now. Because last time from before, we couldn't have done this at all. Oh my goodness, these annoying moblins are a pain in the neck. There, now you're confused. Get out of here, dude. I'm gonna make sure that I go and use my sand rod on you. There you go. Jeez, I'm already losing like most of my health already from all of this. Well, at least I got a little bit of my hearts uh, coming back to me. Maybe I should probably just go and switch around and we'll uh, maybe just bring it on our uh, trusty bow and arrow. Oh, well, I didn't want to do that. You know what? Let's just make sure that we just keep the bee in place out here. Okay. Let's just go and keep him running away. No! Uh, get out of here, giddy. Thank you. Yeah, so just kind of follow throughout this area here, and just like that, looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a save destination, so we'll make sure that we'll go and do this as quickly as we can. So now we can always go and teleport always back here, which that is always a, a pretty nice good thing. And I'm going to see if there's another Lost My Mind down here. Because I have a feeling that there has to be a Lost My Mind somewhere around it, out in this area. Or maybe not. Okay. 
So I guess this is just another destination uh, to probably go and take us back to our previous uh, location for the for the time out here. All right, so welcome to the Skullwoods Dungeon. Uh, now watch out for all these uh, wall masters that are going on because if you guys have never played through a uh, Legend of Zelda game before, these guys are really annoying. You got like wall masters, and I think there's also another type of master as well too, which I forget what they known as, but. Uh, these guys are really annoying because uh, they will always go and respond back and uh, just make sure that you do not get into their line of sight because they will go and try to uh, take you right back to the very beginning of your time out here. Now, another thing is, is that you may possibly need to go and have your lamp out here for the time being as well to kind of see exactly where you're going because this area can be very uh, frustrating through most parts of uh, throughout here because not only that, but there is going to be some wall masters that will probably show up here in the dark time as well. And that could become a, a very major problem. But we also got ourselves the Givdos, which the Givdos also seem like they're going to be making a return out here in this dungeon for the time being. Which that's just lovely. And then now they become uh, also with stealth bosses here. But anyways, uh, that man was jumping way too much that uh, unfortunately uh, he went and got himself injured. Oh great. Oh great. Oh great. Just move. Just move. Just move. Just move. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If you if you have the blue mail at this point in time, I, I would just say just recommend that you just go and just kind of just take the hits for a little bit because just because of that area just alone out there is going to become a problem. Now, it seems like we already made it right into our next destination spot that is right over here. Just go and check around to see if we missed out on any lost my minds though. And also, uh, another thing here within the Skull Woods is that there's also these little falling blocks here. Now, every time that you're going to fall into here, it will take you into another progression of the actual area itself. Now, I know that we just kind of went and just saw a little bit of a while ago that there was a platform area as well, too. And I don't know if we should go and probably check that out uh, for a little bit. But I don't even think that we can even go and do that just yet. Because just by uh, seeing what we got here... Uh... I don't really want to feel like having to get myself uh, attacked by this dude. Nope. Uh, just make sure that he runs away first. Really? And then I just go and fall off into into the abyss down below. I don't think there's really anything too important for what's happening there. No. I, I, I think we'll have to go and find another way, I think, to reach on over to those platforms. So maybe, uh, maybe if we fall down through one of those other type of tiles here, it should take us to that destination. So let's fall down through here. Okay, so yeah, here we go. So now we're going into somewhere now. So now we're finally getting into, uh, into where these platforms are finally now going to be going and showing up to our destination. Now, the one annoying thing about with these guys, though, is that if you want to go and try to make things a little bit faster for yourself, you can just kind of just get around uh, by just having to use the wall feature on those wall masters so that they won't have to go and try to grab you as quickly as, as they can. But here we go. We'll head through here, though. And if you do have your lamp with you, you can make things a little bit nicer as well. So we're just going to kind of kind of shine it up around up in here. Now, I know that these guys are really annoying, so just make sure they use your arrows for most of this time throughout this place. And just tank in the hits if you can. There we go. Shine up another light around up here. And there is a doorway that takes us right back to the very beginning. Okay. Well, I know that there is one way that we haven't really been up to just yet. Oh, great. Nice. Okay, so he's burned down. Oh my goodness. Run away. And we got ourselves with the compass. Phew. Alright, so not too shabby there. Now, just judging by the time that I have here for this video for today, it's gonna probably at least maybe be a short video. Uh, so for right now, all that we can go and really do at the moment here is that we can't really go and head up into this part just yet because it seems like there's a locked door that's all the way up at the very top part of this area. So what I'll have to do is that in the next episode, guys, I will have to go and uh, do a little bit of some more research around here in the Skull Woods to kind of figure out our next exact position on what we do have to do uh, for the time being within this dungeon. So I'll see you guys then, and of course, peace.